trips. When I, when I was at Worcester, like my first year, I went home for Thanksgiving. I read an article in Reader's Digest, I think I'd heard about them a little bit, but called the Night Climbers in at uh, it was either Harvard or Cambridge in, uh, or I mean, Oxford or Cambridge in England. This group of guys, uh, half a dozen, I guess, about, formed an organization <laughs> called the, the Night Climbers. And what they would do periodically, maybe on if it was a special holiday in England or Christmas or uh, uh, usually at holiday times, but sometimes just out of the blue they would uh, they'd make up a big sign They'd have ladders and ropes and most of the equipment, a lot of the equipment that night climbers have, that, I'm sorry, mountain climbers have. And they would take that side and they'd put it in some place where people could see it as they passed by. Uh, students, faculty, whatever. Up very high on these spires that the uh, old universities over there have, and and they were they were done just for fun. They weren't uh, uh, they weren't profane. It might say uh, there's a Guy Fox Day in England. Happy Fi Guy Fox Day from the night climbers. And these were, you know, really pretty huge sides. And I think even Reader's Digest had a little picture of it. Or, and so I thought, I wonder if we could do that at Worcester to a lesser extent in that the Worcester's an old college, has some traditional college buildings with spires. And so I got went back and started talking to a couple guys, like my roommate, Dave Anderson. Or my, my good friend, Dave Anderson. And uh, there were all three or four that were interested in it. A fellow named Bob Thompson. <clears throat> and we had, uh, Bob Thompson was a good artist. Uh, he might have been majoring in art. So I don't, so several different people worked on a sign and um, our first one was uh, something like uh, uh, what was it? Mm, just Hello from the Night Climbers or something. Or, or Happy Homecoming or something. Well, somebody, one of the group found out where the custodians kept their ladders. And they weren't locked up. They were, they were in like a, a, a sewer pipe or a a big pipe of the college. So the, if you wanted a ladder, <laughs> it was pretty easy to get one. 
So I don't remember a lot of the details of putting up the first sign, but we got one up. We got the attention of the students and the faculty and the administration. We heard that the custodians were pretty angry because they had to, they had to get, get it back down. Oh, we used these ladders, and one fellow that was involved in the group who's still living, um, who actually had, had climbed some, some mountain, he was from Vermont, he had actually climbed some uh, mountains out east. Uh, so he had, he had some ropes. And he was in a, in a sense, I like to think I kind of got the Mount Climber started, but he picked up on it with his <coughs> ropes and hooks and stuff like that. And if, I remember putting, helping put that first sign up. We took a big tall ladder to the top of the um, fire escape and then set it up, climbed up to the top and put the, put the sign up the, the highest we could on one of those spires. And it was awkward, and I, and we were kind of, kind of hooked together. But I thought later, you know, if we if we fell, I don't know whether, <laughs> whether whether it would have caught us or not. But for some reason, I wasn't particularly afraid, and I. So we got that sign up. The sign caused a certain amount of <laughs> laughter and wonder on campus. People, oh, yeah. hello from the night climbers. You know, there's only a couple words, but still. So, so I don't know. A couple weeks later. Um, we put another sign up somewhere else. Uh, I forget. I forget where. On another building that had a spire. And, it, and then it was getting close to Christmas. And we had mandatory chapel. I shouldn't say. We had chapel. Program four times a week mm. or five. All oh. you were supposed to go four <laughs> at least, and, they, and most of them were not what you would call uh, religious services, they were uh, lectures, you know, a variety of lectures. You know, one of one of them would be more of a traditional yeah, sermon. That, they lasted about an hour. So the night before, while well, we had been planning this, we made a side to hang up inside the chapel during the program during the program. Which that day was going to be more, uh, it was just a day or two before Christmas break, and I think, I think it was uh, uh, carol singing and, you know, uh, more uh, uh, spiritual program. It was either the last or the next to last one before print. 
Christmas break, and um, so we thought we could get into the chapel through the bell tower. But we weren't sure because we hadn't, hadn't been on the roof of the chapel yet. <laughs> And we got up there, and it was wasn't snowing hard, but there was a little sleet, and the temperature was just about on freezing, you know. So, so it was fairly slippery. Luckily, it wasn't a, a it wasn't a, a real stiff roof, and we could get in through the bell tower and down to the floor of the chapel, which we did. I think there were four of us. I know Bob Thompson was there. I was there. Um, the, fellow that, the fellow that was from Vermont. Um, and we had ropes and stuff. And there, there were beams that we could throw the sign and this old-fashioned alarm clock. The ones who when it, alarm clock that when it rang, you know, the the back. Uh, what do you call it? the thing? The thing would turn. Yeah. Fire them? Well, the old alarm clocks yeah. where it was really this, this. Get you wound it by. You wound it. You wound it in. Okay. So, so we had that hooked to a, a pretty strong string <laughs> and uh, we get, and it, it wasn't, it wasn't me. One of the other guys, I think it was Bob Thompson, can I go ahead, can I go ahead? Anyway, we th we th could be. You can go ahead, Dad. We threw a rope over. <laughs> threw a rope over and made sort of a a, a sling. For for Bob took the thing up and somehow it fell and so it fell to the floor of the chapel. We had it on the, on the beam closest to the front of the chapel. Well, we had we had to make some repairs on this sign, not we had to make some repairs on the sign, minor repairs. It didn't break it into pieces or anything. Pulled somebody up again, and I don't think I could take credit. I probably wouldn't make a difference. For getting it, getting it up there, and getting it stable. Then we came down. We got out of the chapel. I think through the through the front door, 
she could get out. You know, couldn't get in for the front. She'd get out and went back to the dorm. Next day during chapel, at, we had a, the alarm clock set to go off at but about 10.15, chapel started ten. There's this big, uh, somebody was up, I don't, I don't remember, they weren't praying, but they were talking, and suddenly this big alarm clock, uh, you know, this is one designed to wake you up, you know, ring! And the sign unfolded. Oh, the sign was basically on a. The base was on like a. <laughs> sign. The sign was on like a, like a shade. And the shade comes unfold, unfolds, and there. It says, Merry Christmas from the Night Climbers. <laughs> and of course, 90% of the students were sitting, were sitting where they could see it. <laughs> and I think everybody's mouth went open. The faculty, who I guess were, uh, maybe not all the faculty came, but faculty sat behind the speaker's podium and stuff. So they were sort of like in the choir. So they couldn't see what it said. <laughs> and, and there was nothing profane or anything about it at all, you know. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know what happened next, other than I remember the faculty rushing out after this happened. When the chapel was over, which I think I think was over pretty quick after that, they came running out to see what it said. <laughs> That's a really good story. That is written up twice in the, in the Worcester Alumni Mallet Magazine. Really? Yeah. We'll have to check it out. Now it's written, pretty much written by this fellow in the, And I'm sure there'd be a, a way to find it. If I, it he is taking credit, um, cr pretty much credit for all this, which isn't true. Did they ever catch you? No. Well, people began to realize who some of us were anyway. I never got in trouble for it. I heard that the deed was that was, but this is this is just a story too, you know. We were told that this was the number one priority on the on the dean's desk, find out who the night fire was. But that's <laughs> probably not true. And then I don't know, I think we made a couple more signs, but uh, yeah. Got to be too hard to get people together. But the fellow who wrote, I think, both articles about it, uh, and he was involved, and he was a key part of it. He's he kind of. Uh, in, implies or trying to get people to believe that he was instrumental in all this at all. But I don't, 
And he was involved. Well, Sunday, supposed to be 81. Sounds like a good way to spend the evenings in college. <laughs>